Charlie Ham ready to put toe to leather, and we are underway in Wallace Wade Stadium. Devin Ford on the return for the Irish, and the Blue Devils swarming down short of the 20-yard beam in this offense. Very well. First snap, and this is what Notre Dame does. They want to run the football, and they do it with Audrey Gestime, and Duke's there to stop him for nothing. On second and long. Hartman plays it right on his tight end. Duke has allowed all year. Two back set. You'll see some of this from the Irish. Hartman, that's more than 20 yards in the air. And he's... Oh, he had him for his... Can we get him a few more shot plays? And they came out and jumped on him quickly with a couple early, but a flag is flying. Full but start. Offense. Number 52. Five-yard penalty. Second down. A big pass play and try for another one, but now they're behind the sticks on second down and nowhere to go for estimate again as Dwayne Carter was the first to hit. That false start put him behind the chains and they lost two more. Now Hartman will dump it to estimate. Estimate crosses into Duke territory, but it'll be Bryce McPherson back to kick it away, but they'll fake it. Call the fake and he's got the edge and headed to the edge is Jeremy. Inside the red zone and before he's knocked out of bounds. One guy over here, everybody loaded up to the right. Duke confused by this. They were just outmanned. And now you're giving the ball to one of your fastest playmakers there with an ability with love. Six foot 197, true freshman. You could see he was happy to get out. Courtesy of the guy they say has live legs, and we saw it there. And in fact, so live, they go right back to him, and Love gets it down to about the six drives that bogged down late. This is the eighth play. They'll go to Estime. Estime, who hadn't found any running room tonight until then, and he goes in for the touchdown. Sixth touchdown this season. Chris, or, uh, Chris Reese, watch the offensive <laughs> line play here. This is what Duke's concerned about, the pulling of these linemen the blocking angles that they pick up and you give estimate just a little bit of room getting downhill to that second this Raider will try to attack on the extra point this splits the uprights and following that game we'll see a good bit of Bijan tomorrow but he's off to a great start yes he is proving worthy of the first round pick being selected in the first round Terry Moore finding a little running room for Duke on the kickoff return I want you to take note of that left guard or left tackle I should say too Graham Barton out of this game. He might be Duke's best offensive lineman in the first play. They're getting a great against the Ohio State wide receiving duo of Marvin Harrison and Mecca Buka. Leonard hit as he throws, and he was almost a linebacker. They go empty. Jalen Calhoun moves to the slot. Leonard finds it. Riley Leonard right on the money to Calhoun makes the grab. It's a first down space. Good job of navigating that and making the throw. Four receivers to Leonard's left, and maybe a dangerous throw as he tried to jumping into the neutral zone as Leonard tries to draw them off. And he gives it off to Waters, and he was knocked down immediately. Notre Dame. Offside, defense number one, five-yard penalty, third down against Ohio State last last week. Yeah, he just jumps up at the top. Good job of that. If Leonard diagnoses correctly, he does. He finds his man, and Duke has a first down. Or Duke trying to answer right on the cusp of the red zone. Leonard firing, and it is out. Now they're coming. Irish have been very good getting pressure, and there is nowhere to run. He's time. Top six in the country. If they can get some heat on Leonard here. Leonard trying to get away. Riley breaks a tackle, but he barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Cornelius, North Carolina. Did not hit it well at all. For the road. Washed down the score with their initial possession. Duke missed a field goal. Now Audrey Gestime has it on first down. They're picking also another play on the drive. But we've seen a lot of Estime. False start. Offense. Yeah. Number 52. Reese. Five-yard penalty. I don't know what's going Second on with, with Farrell. But you'll, you'll see him flinch again. Right there. Just a it's little move. Maybe they're putting that Cameron crazy wave whack of hex on something. <laughs> Second and 13, Hartman got drilled as he let it go. Dwayne Carter, the, the big man right here who knows how to handle business. 
has power, has speed, has experience, and right, just went right over top of the center. Maybe he's worried about the snaps and just unable to deal with delightful guy to talk to yesterday. Enjoy spending time with him. See if Duke can get off the field. Hartman gets drilled again, but delivered the football right on target. And Mitter, he releases the ball. How about the focus downfield by Hartman? Back to the ground with Estime. Good pickup on first oh, down of about seven. Think Notre Dame. Two of those other backs in a two-back set now as the Irish keep it on the ground. They give it to Jabron Payne, and he's stacked up for nothing. Third down, cut 13 a moment ago. Hartman firing. There he is again. Big tight end Evans, his third catch of the night, and he's all the way down to the Duke 41. Damage against the Buckeyes last week out of the slot. Now lined up the wing. Hartman not on the same page there with his friend. Hasn't played a lot. Caught a touchdown pass against Ohio State last week. Here's Chris Tyree, the former running back, who is an explosive receiver. It is third down and four here. Back to Estime. And Estime, they are ready for Audrey tonight. It'll be fourth down and four. Jamion Franklin, the Notre Dame transfer, there to make the stop. Good job. Getting off of blocks, Franklin's got to be fired up tonight, right? And all these guys from Notre Dame he's friends with and, and buddies with. Boy, this this is going to be fun to watch. This kicker is impressive, Spencer Schrader. He's got a big leg, make it from 61, 62 in practice. His mid-range field goals, too, but this one's from 53. And there's a flag down. False start. Number 74, five yard penalty, fourth down. Seventh Duke is Bryce McPherson. Will indeed punt it away. That back spun in over in, and Calhoun makes the catch at the 12. And Duke keeps Notre Dame off the board this to do here at home tonight against the Fighting Irish. Riley Leonard going back to work. And Peyton Jones, who typically wears number 10, wearing. Leonard that time and he threw an interception. Hit his man right in there, Xavier. Wow. Not a savvy, just kind of playing center field and reading the quarterback's eyes. Does a really good job. He's just kind of sitting there, reading the route, trying to become a you know a defender that can become a factor and hitting a crossing route. But next thing you know, he reads the eyes, the pressure gets there, and the ball is thrown right into his chest. And I I think. Riley Leonard's expecting him to sit back, dropping and cover. The Irish are set up at the Duke 13. Hartman buys time, dumps it underneath, and Flores had it for a Two back set, they'll go back to Love. Jeremiah Love's had an impact in this first quarter as he gets it to the 10, third down. Turnover. Ball start. Office number 17. Five yard penalty. Third down. Damage. Hartman had time, starting to run out of it, and now he's completely out of it. Jamie on. Really does a nice job of taking away any receiver at all. You see the crosser right here is completely taken away. That's where his outlet would have been, but by then the pressure gets to him. So coverage really dictating things. Mitigated the damage. Schrader, the grad transfer from USF. Or Hartman's going to make a play and put a touchdown on the board, but Duke's defense holds up. This will be Terry Moore returning for the Blue Devils in Notre Dame. Has it covered very well. He crawled. Blue Devils haven't been able to get anything going on the ground yet. Haven't seen a lot of design quarterback runs, which we thought we would. And if the Ohio State did complete a pass, there's tight coverage. Those two corners are legit. You saw Cam Hart there. Morrison, one of the best in the country. Missing a starter at left tackle. Pocket collapsing on Leonard, and Leonard goes down. With his length, they move him in here. He works, and then ends up coming around with that length and with that closing speed. Can good job with the coverage downfield. Riley 
Chris Tyree will return the punt from Porter Wilson. Tyree driven back to his own 34. Tyree's got great speed. He's looking for the corner and Duke does a good job getting him on the ground before he can hit that sideline. But this is old 41, Sam Hartman. Stands in there in traffic. Cool as a cucumber, and Sam will slide out and pick up a couple. Pretty impressive, right? Sitting by nature in that offense, you're going to have traffic around you. Sam's pretty comfortable with that as the Irish pop a play up the middle with Jabron Payne. Mm -hmm. And he'll get into Duke. He's got Love and Devin Ford. Two back look. Tight end Evans going, and it is Love. Love. He, he feels like he's got a little juice to him, Holly, for sure. Duncan right now surveying the field a little more comfortable from this look. On second down, Hartman short completion. Moved the pocket, fired out and incomplete. No doubt they forced the punt here. McPherson sends that tumbling punt back there and Calhoun does a nice job. This. I think that's their best win all year, even though it was a close game, just because of what, how they were battling on the road. Riley Leonard kept it. Duke's averaging over 200 yards rushing. Kirk even more pressure on this line. After Leonard ran for five, he throws it to five, and Jalen Calhoun is across the 35. On one option route, work back outside. Leonard back to work, looking for Calhoun. Miss would improve. Now let it up quickly, and he had a little running room from Elite Book 3 on third down tonight, and they need 13. Leonard dumps it underneath. Got it to Jacquez Moore, and Moore can't find any running room. J.D. Bertha Wilson will punt it away to the dangerous Chris Tyree. And short. Kick a bit off the side of his foot, and it goes out of bounds. And Notre Dame, once again, to your point, kind of sneaking suspicion that we'll be there on game day two. Sam Hartman throws. Oh, what a catch by Evans! Evans gets it inside the 30 to the gonna show. And he looks like Michael Mayer with this catch. That ball looks like it's no chance he can make that catch. The big Paul goes up. Tight ends flexed out, so there's a lot of space. Hartman comes back from his left, back to the right. What an effort to get the left hand up and bring that in. Estimate picks up a couple, but you know what, Kirk? Big five last week, he's becoming a weapon. Sure he is. Pick up the pressure, Hartman, that was almost disaster. See if the Blue Devil defense can stand firm again. Hartman by time. Hartman finds Flores. He catches it, but he's short of the for Schrader. 37 yards. It's not accurate, but it's over. Look at that. Over the net. And that is exactly part of the reason the Blue Devils have less than 70 yards of offense. Leonard by time, floating it toward Calhoun. Now Leonard, and that looks bizarre. That looks a lot like the Clemson escape, but he does not get loose. Third down here. Flag flies. Leonard under heat. Leonard swarmed under by the Irish defense. Getting after All him. Size, uh, defense, number 12. Five yards penalty for death. So Duke another chance on third down. Leonard by time and Riley Leonard earlier this year against Clemson. And Notre Dame put a little heat on that one much better than the last effort. Tyree makes the fair catch just inside his own 25 yards. His dad taught medicine at North Carolina, which is most are aware, just about eight to ten miles, depending on the path that you take from where we are here on campus at Duke inside five minutes to play. There are 15 runs, 15 passes. Flag flies. Hartman buys time. And Sam's going to throw it away. And they're going to get a holding call. Holding. Offense number 50. 10-yard penalty. 
second down. You know, good, good job of pressure right in the middle of your screen 50 see how he loses his balance just pulls on he just he's like I, I'm, if i'm going down you're coming down with was going to be good it's time protection holds up and He tried to run it on third and 19 that's when he's knocked down and the irish will punt defense is playing Bryce McPherson puts a foot to it. Smear Hagens has a good punt driven back to his 23. Hagens hits it back up to the 30. Clear in high school. Many thought Riley Leonard would end up playing college basketball instead because of athleticism like you see there. Leonard designed quarterback run and Riley gets it across the 40 to the 41. It'll be a first. He's Notre Dame, or rather, Duke's leading rusher tonight with five yards rushing. And not much there for Jacquez Moore. Country does a great job with quarterback Country, and they, he works with both of them. It's a growing stable down in Mobile, too. Yeah. There's a lot of guys are flocking there to hone. Just over a minute to go. Duke can pick up this first down. They might really pick up the pace. To be able to locate his receiver. Quarterback draw, Leonard is loose. Can he make a man miss? Then he'll step out of bounds. And... Wow, that would be huge. After this half, <laughs> you bet. Leonard, right on the money. All the way down to the 10. It'll be enough. And up on this first and 10 play. Final minute to go from the 11. Riley Leonard. He's hit his For sure. Absolutely. Here's Leonard. Riley Leonard shakes a tackle and gets down close to the five. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Who can beat these DBs and get separation? Hagen's in motion. Now on third down. Oh, Riley let the goal of the football. Let's see who comes up with it. I think Duke may have gotten it back. Was there to get hold of it. Yeah, he's trying to, to make a play. And it looked like, yeah, as you say, Hagen's ended up. And Polino missed it. So the Blue Devils will get it first. Terry Moore is the deep man. He will let it sail into the end zone. And uh, he was not giving up a lot of activity off that left side. Protecting Leonard's blind side. Leonard will throw and is deflected immediately and almost intercepted. He had a career high, eight tackles against the Buckeyes last week, and he's been all over the place tonight. Leonard trying to find some room, and Leah Fowl chases him out of bounds as we check in with Holly. Notre Dame defense, too. Pressure coming. Leonard takes a hit and gets rid of it. On the top teams in the country and getting pressure on the quarterback. Been a little bit of a mixed bag with the punting for Duke. Good one and bad one, and that is an ill-advised play by Tyree, and somehow it squirted away from the Blue Devils and Notre Dame at first to staff. I was shocked by this decision. Yeah, this is the odds of being able to take that. Tyree makes a poor decision. Now the ball, it's a free for all, and this ball goes everywhere. Just later, it looked like 57 who pounced on it, but it came out. Moan Henderson saving the day for the Fighting Irish by jumping on an Estime. Breaks a couple of tackles, but still just picks an inexplicably bad decision that he gets away with. Sam Hartman has to fire it. Boy, he had R.J. Oban in his face, and now Tyree trying to... Now over 150 yards passing. Irish with their first possession of the second half. Back to the ground with Estime. A lot of plays to keep him in this game. He coming. Hartman lets it fly deep. And he... Great house. Hartman on third down. He's in a lot of trouble. Nias Peebles is after him. And Hartman gets away. Can he get to the sticks? And he cannot as Chandler Rivers convert. He coming from the Blue Devils. Hartman running for it. Sam Hartman has the first down, and he's out of bounds inside. Boy, Lewis came from the secondary. He had a chance to keep Hartman bottled up and let him 
Escape Contain now to the ground and estimate and Notre Dame will try to lean on him with that offensive line. Estimate. It'll bring up third and about three. Hartman protection broke down and it'll be fourth down. And whistles. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Now from 45. Trader puts a foot to it. And that one is good. And Notre Dame pushes its lead. 55-49. Oh, man. Seven. Jeez. Can you imagine? We got three games up here this yeah. year. With we all? Yeah. Mason Smith, Perkins, so far, not so good. Duke trying to get that running game going. It's been good third down, just two of eight. Leonard leaves it with his back. A good, strong run. Pick up the first down. Is the back running with some purpose on third and short. Leonard, oh, most fence. Of course, that'll help you get back in rhythm. As they got the ball of Jacquez more and more with the best. Now first and ten inside the 30. Leonard on the wheel. And he overshoots his tight end. Nikki. Gets Jordan Waters. Waters keeps the legs churning. He'll pick up about four. Another good block. They'll keep it on the ground and move it about a yard or two short. I'm impressed with it. Leonard flips it out in the RPO. It's complete to Higgins to make it. Been fortunate not to get a man downfield call from the offensive line, too. They'll go back and burst into the secondary and more. 11th play of this drive. They'll go back to the ground, and Moore won't get there. Official offside. Defense number five. The penalty is half the distance to the goal line. First down. Snap penalty for Notre Dame. They'll go to the ground, driving, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown for Jordan Waters. 11 plays, 75 yards, eight up just under. And they're playing every time we touch, which is sort of the unofficial Duke anthem, and they've got the crowd alive here. Jeremiah Love has had some big plays tonight. Moves the ball to fake punt, gets him out to the 20 ranked teams, but not when they were ranked, something they could do tonight. But still down six, Sam Hartman. Throws it right into the arms, and he's lucky that his receiver. Blue Devils plus field position. And Chris Tyree perhaps inadvertently saved that interception. Duke starts up front. Hartman tries to get away, and he does not. Trey Freeman. Samir Hagans, who caught that fourth down pass earlier, will return the punt. And it's not a particularly good one. And the Blue Devils are going to have terrific field position. Coming up. Moore has it. And Jacquez is going to pick up three. Go right back to this running field. Now Mullen coming in motion now. And Riley Leonard pulls it. And... Leonard down the middle, fires into Chris Tyree calls for the fair catch, and he hauls it in at about the 18 or third period. It was perfect timing by Shane Battier. He's frustrated with us. He just got out right when we cut to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's disappointed. It's probably a great play by After Freeman, the play was over, and then a dead ball foul. foul. Unnecessary roughness against the defense number 23. 
Chapman. That's a really good idea to throw the ball to Mitchell Evans, and he's already had a career night, and now he's over 100 yards. As we get to the end of the quarter. Bring down, that's 10 extra yards after the catch. That was the at t 5G clicker as we open the fourth quarter. Notre Dame picks up a couple. We will, uh, all five of his catches have given the Irish a first down tonight. Estimate lost his balance about as soon as he got the football. Power tonight, what kind of receiver and what kind of threat he is in a pass game. Hardman chased, fires it deep. Merriweather's down there, but the flag is going to come out. Contact, I just don't know there how that's no in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And he just throws this. There's no chance the receiver could get to that yeah. football. Might have gotten away with one. Merriweather couldn't work it back, and the Irish will have to give up the football. Beautiful kick. Put it right in the corner at the one-yard line. You said it went over the pylon. It's a touchback. What a break for Duke and a bad break for Notre Dame. And Jordan Waters gets the carry. Oh, my guy, Mike Black. Noted kicking experts. Not sure he agrees. Not because of the rule, obviously. Duke go to the air here. Pressure coming. They pick it up well. And Leonard completes it. He got Jordan Moore. Moore across the 50 and just into Notre Dame territory. Protection. Blitzing right through here. Watch the back do a nice job of picking this up by Waters. Without those backers there, he's able to wait, find that throwing lane. Even with that drop there from the defensive end, he gets that. Now Leonard. Down the sideline, Leonard's got great wheels. Riley Leonard inside the 20. Lyman pulling around and leading him. Flash it to the jet sweep and then get to the edge. Very close to a hold by 63 Monk, but they got away with it. And when he turns the corner with those long legs, he is covering a lot of ground. Good move right there to get around the undersized Morris in the corner who's up in run support. Second run in the second half of Walgreen in 30. Leonard going to try it again, and Notre Dame is there to snuff him out. Just it's reading this key. If it collapses down, that means he's going to keep the football. But they're doing that intentionally where you can get the inside push to the outside with Mills. You set the edge even... And there is Jordan Botello, who hit Leonard in the hip with the crown of his helmet. It was Botello that I saw on the sideline that shaken up, which is the reason for the rule. My After friend Bill Amadie. There was a personal foul targeting with the crown of the helmet by number 12. The penalty is half the distance to the goal line. Number 12 is disqualified. Automatic first down. On the eight, first and goal for Duke. He stays on his feet. The strong run from Waters. Waters still driving toward the goal line. What a run. What an effort. 20 pounds. This is an individual effort to the nth degree. That is a guy that wants to win a football game. A graduate. They do. And this time, Notre Dame is up to the challenge. They knock him down behind the line. Howard... Try to pay it off. Leonard has a man wide open. It's a touchdown. 13-0. And here it is, Reese. Look at this movement. Look at Notre Dame adjusting. Now watch this right here. Here he is. Does anybody run with him? Little miscommunication, little hesitation. Notre Dame's not real sure. Great job. Well designed by Kevin Johns to save that one for a pivotal point here in the fourth quarter. Jordan Moore from the left to the right. Notre Dame, nobody picked him up. Duke just took the lead, 14-13. Charlie Ham kicks it off now. See if Notre Dame can answer. Jeremiah Love looking for room. Love's still on his feet as he gets up to about the 30-yard line. Now Sam Hartman, who's proven over his six-year college career that he's real, gets the ball back down by one Love. And the Irish offense. 
Back to the ground, Love hit by Aeneas Peoples. You barely... Hindman in the double teams, a lot of trouble. Hartman on third down, pocket was collapsing, it's incomplete. And now McPherson's gonna have to punt it away again. Calhoun gets up to make the catch. The Irish will try to get off the field. You stop this new running attack, which suddenly surged to life in the second half. Jordan Watt. And go right back to Waters. And Waters slipping tackles and getting. Pressure coming from Lee Fowl. Might almost a face mask as Leonard squirted through there and got fairly. Moore is the running back. Heat coming. Leonard escapes. He's got some room. Leonard has the first down inside the 40. Back from Fair Hope, Alabama. Moore is greeted immediately. It'll be second and long. Another chance. Leonard. That was a run all the way, and Riley gets it down to the 31 yard. Waters motions to the backfield. Leonard leaves it with him, and he's hit and knocked down. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna pooch. Now Riley Leonard with the pooch punt can do get down and cover it, and they do. The kid does it all. 360 dunks, he can run, he can lead, he can throw. Now he gets a pooch punt, puts it inside the five. And his mom's wristband comes into play there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let, let, let's go back and talk about, Bill, if we could bring you in. That was a big re review that uh, I guess should not have actually been allowed to be reviewed, right? To either touch the sideline or hit the pie line, which it didn't do. That's my initial comment, but not reviewable by the current replay rule. So with that in mind, that ball would have been inside the one. Instead, they moved it out to the 20. There. Right down there in the midst of the way Wackos, but this is why you got Sam Hartman. Hartman's in trouble and gets away in the end zone. Now lost it down. Incomplete, but a flag flies in. Pass interference. Defense, number 26. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first. The freshman. It's kind of a crossing route, then tries to get downfield. He gets locked up, grabbing the jersey. Close, 229 to go. Irish trying to save themselves on the road. Hartman in trouble again, and he threw it, and Estimate caught it. Back against Tulane. Those coming in Wake Forest just missed one last time. Hartman back shoulder looking for Flores. And who else he finds? Mitchell Evans is tight end, and they break that drought on third down and keep the game alive. How about the freshman? Watch his route right here. He actually takes the defender with him, the middle linebacker, Cam Dillon, and it opens it up right there. Nice job of being patient, waited as long as he could, but a heck of a read and throw. Sick catch is a buck 34 for Evans tonight. Hartman down the middle again. He's got Rico Flores. Flores still on his feet and he's down to the new 41. Night Flores. Hartman back to work. Taking a shot. Throws it to the outside and Mary. On Al Blades Pass Jr. Offense. Yeah. Number five. <laughs> Fifty yard penalty. First down. Merriweather had a step. And he re the based on the way he reacts, you can see that right arm extend on Al Blaze, Ju Al Blaze Jr. right away saying, hey, <laughs> help me out here, man. I'm on an island as it is. On 44. Estime has it. Harvard looking for some room and not a lot there. And now the clock. Evans in the slot to the right. Sam. Throws it up for grabs and he's looking for Evans in the almost front. See that green line. They need to at least get it there. There it comes again. Hartman gets away and he has to throw it. And it's almost intercepted and it's fourth, fourth and 16. Hartman has a chance to run for it. Can Sam get there? 
<laughs> he came up short against Ohio State, but to that timeout. Smart play. Timeout. A 17-yard run on fourth and 16. Estime, it's loose. Andre Estime, touchdown Notre Dame. Duke has all three of its timeouts, but first the two-point conversion. Hartman, throwback, it's good, it's a seven-point game. The passing game, winner just 11 of 26 tonight. Fair catch with Terry Moore, so 75 yards. First play of the drive. Completion, and Hagens scoops out of bounds after picking up five and transferred to Notre Dame. And Leonard hit, ball's loose. And Leonard is clutching his ankle, and the football's still loose. But, and it's Notre Dame football. Beats his man, gets to the football before Riley Leonard can come forward with his hand. That's definitely a fumble. Boy, you hate to see this. He is, he is played hard tonight, played his heart out. Yep. As the guys on both teams have, this has been a hard-fought game, and they're helping Riley Leonard off the field now. Cross, long-time Giants tight end. Former Alabama star, proud of his son's effort tonight, without a doubt, as Estime slams it up into the line. 